All week long on Daily Planet, we've been highlighting cool technologies from engineering students at the University of Waterloo. And here's another one. See, that's not really me, is it? It's a robotic presence of me. And in fact, it's called the telepresence robot, and Brian Satch is here with me to explain it. So, this is pretty cool. Uh, can we go back and look at the robot? I'll just show you what it can do, and then we can talk about it. So if I wanted to turn right, I do that. If I want to turn left, I do that. I can back up. I can go forward. So, like, whoa, stop, I could stop turning any time now. There we go. I've turned my back on you. So the cool thing about this is that it's, it's a little bit like teleconferencing, except it's more like you're really there. Exactly. It's basically video conferencing on wheels. So if you, if you can picture yourself not wanting to go into work one day, uh, stay in your bed and then uh, yeah. have this drive around the office for you. I love this idea. And as we've already seen, it works on the TV set. Now, uh, I have a laptop here with a joystick is controlling the movements. Can you describe what I see on the laptop? Absolutely. So you're seeing your preview window here to see what you're looking like. Right. And then the video that the camera is receiving on the robot is actually displayed right here. So you can see where you're driving and stuff like that. Right. Uh, so you've got a strength indicator to make sure that you're not uh, going too far from the base station at the remote location. Yep. And we also have five sensors here. Um, so they're the mounted little around... green circles, right? That's right. They're mounted around the base of the robot. And basically, they'll tell you if you're going to hit a wall or something like that. So they prevent you from colliding into anything. Now, Brian, uh, teleconferencing is uh, pretty common. So why is this better? Well, if you think about sort of current teleconferencing the way it is, it has to be set up in a boardroom or in a meeting room. And so you really lack the ability to, you know, go ask your colleague a question in a cubicle or to just walk down the production line and see how things are working. Yep. So we thought that would be the greatest way for you to really achieve maximum productivity while not having to travel. I think it'd be so cool. Like you could walk, so you could actually send this to an office, walk up behind somebody, look over their shoulder while they're <laughs> doing their email. It, this thing is incredible. So this is, uh, I guess, an early version, right? That's right. That's How right. would you like to upgrade it from what you've got now? Uh, so we'd like to improve the control a bit. There's, uh, there's been a few issues there. We'd obviously like to get a little bit better video quality. But uh, in terms of getting a prototype done, we're pretty happy with it. And would you think about making it look a bit more humanoid in the future? Uh, we're thinking maybe adding, you know, a suit to it to make it look <laughs> like your boss. Yeah, depending who you are. So a little suit, a little body shape, and then uh, I, I think it's fantastic. I like this idea. Okay, here, I'm going to just say goodbye to Brian. Thanks a lot. This no is problem. a very cool thing. The telepresence robot. And I'm off now to check to see if everybody in the studio is working as hard as they should be.